Okay, we're talking about defensive tackles, you know, for this year's draft. And uh, good group, uh, not as much depth, but it's still a relatively solid group of defensive tackles. First guy, our number one on our list is Jerzon Newton of Illinois. He was a defensive player of the year and, and defensive lineman of the year in the Big Ten. He has a compact frame with outstanding natural knee and ankle bend. Loose hips allow quick lateral agility. He's a high motor player who's lined up all along the Illinois defensive front. He's quick at the snap. He plays with leverage and power, showing a variety of moves to escape blocks. In one-on-one -on -one situations, he can get under a blocker and has remarkably quick and powerful hands and can easily reload if his first pop stalls. Shows excellent lateral movement and pursuit, chasing plays to the perimeter and across the field. A solid one-gap defender and can penetrate and disrupt blocking schemes. Relentless pass rusher. He shows a bull rush in will move, push, pull, and arm under as part of a solid pass rush repertoire. Push, pull is an effective counter to discard and overextending blocker. Second effort gets him to a lot of plays. Will often face double teams in the pass rush and has to be accounted for in blocking schemes. Lacks ideal length, but it shows at times taking on a block and tackling as he will miss occasionally coming off a block. He struggles with double teams and at times can get locked up and stalemated. He's what a lot of teams are looking for in a defensive tackle, and in the right scheme, he can be an elite player. Our next guy is Byron Murphy of Texas. He was voted the Defensive Lineman of the Year in the Big 12 in 2023. Compact frame with hyperathleticism and natural knee bend. He's an explosive interior defender who plays with a hot motor. He's got an incredible first step quickness, allowing him to beat blocks at the snap. Plays with leverage and excellent lateral agility as he can attack a gap and react to a jump cut in the backfield. Adept at reading blocks and locating the ball. Outstanding effort, he can chase plays down across the field. Even though he lacks ideal mass and length, he can hold the point and leverage to the ball side gap. He turns quickness into power and can stack and shed on the move. If blocked, he has solid ability to reload his hands and get off the block with second effort. Has pass rush skill coming off the quick first step with a variety of power moves. Often stacks a bull rush into a push-pull or arm under to get free. Has been productive getting constant pressure on the quarterback. He can chase down a scrambling quarterback. At times, he doesn't run his feet and gets upright and stalemated. At times, his second effort wanes when locked up. Lack of ideal size and mass show up at times on down blocks that knock him off balance. His overall athletic ability, pass rush skill, and high motor make him a desirable prospect. The next guy is Tavondre Sweat. First team all Big 12, first team unanimous All-American and Big 12 Defensive Player of the Year in 2023. He's a massive prospect with imposing size and length. His frame is ideal for an interior defender. He's played nose tackle, but this past season also saw action as a five and three technique. Dropped a few pounds going into the season and had a tremendous year. He not only stuffs the run, but has also shown athleticism to play down the line and create pressure on the quarterback. Has been a solid two-gap defender who can clog running lanes and create opportunities for linebackers to make plays. Plays with strong hands and extremely stout at the point. Very difficult to move and routinely stuff double teams and combo blocks. Uses his long arms to separate from blocks and can stack and shed to make plays in line. Has decent short space change of direction working to the ball off a of block. As a pass rusher, he's more of a bull rush, collapse the pocket player, and can knock an interior offensive lineman back into the quarterback. He's adept at getting his hands up in his throwing lane while getting a push. He will not offer elite inside pass rush as he lacks technique and functional speed to consistently close. Can be late with his strike and is not the quickest off the ball. He runs out of gas at times, but he's an overall solid interior prospect. His value is much more than a two-gap space eater. Our next guy is Chris Jenkins of Michigan. Powerful, athletic. He lined up primarily as a three technique, but will slide out to a five on occasion. Excellent run defender. He's physical at the point of attack with consistent low pad level. Often drew double teams and could still control the line of scrimmage. Block protection is a major strength if he plays with strong hands, creating separation on initial strike. Regularly stalemated combo and double teams and controlled his gap. Solid lateral quickness allows him to stack and shed on the move in pursuit of the ball. He's effective on inside line stunts as he works a gap and squares up a block coming from either side. Rarely moved out on down blocks. Escapes blocks with an arm over or under, and he has range to chase to the perimeter. 
As a pass rusher, he lacks the snap quickness to consistently get around the blocker. He flashes the ability to bull rush into an arm under move to pressure the quarterback. Can be effective getting upfield against single blocks. More of a push the pocket pass rusher than get off a block and get to the quarterback. He works the edges of blockers, but lacks the snap quickness and technique to consistently escape to get to the quarterback. Gets some push against double teams, but is generally neutralized. Power and functional strength make him a solid NFL three technique prospect, but he's gonna need some pass rush development. The next guy is Leonard Taylor of Miami, Leonard Taylor III. He was an imposing figure on the Hurricanes defensive front. Has a good mix of power and athleticism and lined up at multiple spots in the Canes defense, including zero, one, three, and five techniques. Was most often used at the interior spots in 2023 with significant reps at nose tackle. With extreme first step, quick step quickness, he can get into a gap and penetrate in the backfield, disrupting blocking schemes along the way. He flashes powerful hands to separate from blocks and can clog running lanes. Excellent lateral movement. He can flatten down the line and make plays along the line of scrimmage. Shows a high motor penetrating and pursuing. Has range for a big man to chase down backs across the field. Solid tackling and chase mode. As a five technique, he can work the outer edges of a blocker and locate the ball. As an interior pass rusher, he's explosive engaging with strong hands and lower body strength to push the pocket. Solid bull rush guy and uh, not, not so much escape ability, but he can disengage and he can chase. Could use more pass rush Technique to be more, ali more reliable escaping blocks. Struggles to fight pressure against down blocks and drive blocks on double teams. Has had streaks where he's easily handled by interior blockers. Needs to develop consistency and pad level so he cannot be so easily handled by interior blockers. His 2023 tape wasn't as good as 2022 and he's still a work in progress. Has the tools and upside to develop into a solid NFL starter. For all of our lads' rankings on these various defensive positions, you can go to ourlads.com and also purchase the uh, guide. Go to ourlads.com, click on the Buy Draft Guide, and it will direct you as how to get the guide. You can either get a digital version or you can get a hard copy book that you can hold in your hands, which is desired by a lot of our customers.